but at the time Gaussian processes were, uh, you know, a good topic to study. And I mean, I still, I still use Gaussian process in my research. So they are a great, great topic to learn because, you know, they teach you about actually, uh, they teach you a lot about how probability works and, 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 you know, just uncertainty quantification. So, um, the main thing, sorry, your question was about why I, how I kind of landed up doing what I was doing. So yes. yeah, with Gaussian processes, um, so they are a, a paradigm for doing regression fundamentally, right? So regression is uh, really where you have X and Y and you're, learn and you're trying to learn the mapping, the unknown hidden mapping between some X that could be high dimensional and Y. And um, the way you, you learn to do it in school or in statistics is you learn to do it in a very different way. You learn to do it parametrically. So you write down an equation connecting X and Y, and then you go about learning all those missing coefficients in your equation. You go about sort of, you know, uh, optimizing for them, right? Using some objective. But the the Gaussian process way of learning a function, I mean, so it, it also learns a function, but does it completely differently, right? Uh -huh. So it is about directly operating in a, something we define, we define a space of functions. And we try to learn uh, or, or yeah, infer all of the functions that are compatible with our X and Y data. And uh, so in, in, in the 1D case, like you can visualize it, you kind of get a distribution of functions rather than a single function. So this is the main feature of probabilistic machine learning is that the predictions are stipulated in the form of a probability distribution. So you have access to a much richer mathematical object. So at every prediction point, you don't just have a point estimate, you have an entire probability distribution. So you have a mean, the so-called mean, and a so-called variance that captures the uncertainty. And, and Gaussian processes does this in function space. So mm -hmm. when you want to learn a function for some data, you once you train a Gaussian process, after kind of selecting the right sort of priors and things, you get access to a distribution of functions compatible with your X and Y data. And there's a lot that you can do with it downstream. 